Hi, so tonight, by request, we are doing moon snails. I assumed Lewis's moon snail is the one we're talking about. Um, we'll be in Welks to Wales tonight because they have an entire page dedicated to the moon snail, which is extraordinary because on the opposite, you have three snails sharing the same page. Moon snail gets a whole page. So there's a little bit about moon snails in general. Several hundred moon snail species are found throughout the world, living on sandy bottoms and feeding on clams. In England, they are called necklace shells because of the sand collars of eggs. Each species has its own characteristic egg collar shape, discussed further in chapter 11, which we now know is about eggs. I didn't know that there were several hundred moon snail species. That is exhilarating. I will be looking more into that later. So let's learn about Lewis's moon snail. That's the big one that we'll see on our beaches. Latin name Euspira lewisi, named such in 1847. Other names are Polynices lewisi and Lunatia lewisi. The etymology was after Captain Meriwether Lewis, who collected shells from the mouth of the Columbia River during the Lewis and Clark expedition, 1804 to 1806. Besides, they can be up to five and a half inches or 14 centimeters high. Um, I don't know if you've seen them, but they're like, the shell will be like, big and then the foot will spread out like more around that i have like i have held moon snails where the shells like this and then the foot goes out to here um they range from southern alaska or southeast alaska to southern california they are common on sand and the intertidal down to 165 feet or 50 meters description they have a large globular shell cream exterior with thin brown periostracum wide flaring aperture open umbilicus, tan to brown horny, horny operculum, brown interior, soft body is translucent brown with no spots or blotches. I like the translucent brown. I feel like I've never heard someone say that. Comments, and there's a long, these are some of my favorite moon snail facts. So species lays its egg in a distinctive sand collar molded by the shell curvature as it's released from the snail's body and pushed up through the sand. Many small eggs are distributed in a central jelly layer coated with sand on both sides. They're found in the intertidal zone and deeper, generally from April to September, with a peak in May to June. The eggs hatch out of the collar in six weeks. They have a picture here of the collar. That is what those look like. So a lot of people see these on the beach and think they're like weird trash. They're not weird trash. They're egg collars. They have moon snail eggs in them. So please leave them alone. Um... A little bit more about the moon snail here. It says, the moon snail burrows and feeds on clams, drilling into shells and cutting the flesh of the clam with its tooth-like radula. An adult moon snail consumes about one clam every four days. Little neck, butter, truncated soft shell, and Pacific gaper clams are among the species whose shells are often found with the characteristic hole drilled by the moon snail. You can see these are the four clams that they mentioned, and that hole is right there. And it's always in the same spot. I have been told and have told many people subsequently, I've been told by educators that I worked for, um, that that hole is, the, uh, it's there because that's where the central nerve cluster is. And so it'll drill into that and then basically uh, render the clam's nervous system null. And then the clam will relax because it has no more nervous system basically. And the shell will pop open and the snail can slurp it out, which is horrifying, um, but effective. Cockles are rarely drilled by moon snails. Moon snail shells are in much demand by larger hermit crabs, which live in other species cells and must compete for rare large shells as they grow. So hermit crabs need their big shells. Please keep that in mind. Edibility. Species is massive, but not particularly edible by humans. So here is that translucent brown beauty. Lewis's moon snail. This is, I was really excited. This is one of my favorite beach creatures in the whole world. When I find a moon snail, I make this face of pure love because I'm so happy. Um, if you do find moon snails, please cover them back up um, because other creatures like to eat them more than we do. But it's really exciting when you do get to see one. Moon snail.